Hi, my name is Jens. Welcome to Corda Fogo. Today I want to finish the little series about the blues riff in A. We're going to play the same blues riff that we learned in the previous videos in the 10th and 11th position on the guitar and adding some chords to it. And again, we are doing it the funky style. So please follow me. We're starting the first lick and the 8th fret on a D sharp with our first finger and then slide into the E. Going to the B string, playing in the 10th fret the A, then we go to the G, 12th fret on the G string with the pinky, and then we do the slide again. That's a little variation, that's a little different than in the other videos, so I try to do a little variation here. And then we go to the D string, 12th fret, it's a D again. And then the C, the A on the A string, and the 12th fret. That's all. So we have E, A, G, E, D, C, A. Then comes the rhythm that's a little tricky. We use this A7 chord. I'm going to explain it now. A. Then we have the C sharp, that's the third of the chord. G is the seventh. And a C, that's the sharp nine or flat ten, how they called it in Holland. <laughs> and um, I do a little trick uh, with my. Right hand with the plectrum, we play the rhythm. It's an eighth note and two sixteenth notes. Okay. Only play it once. And then we play the chord. And we damp the last string with this finger here. And then we damp the three strings and do the uh, continue the rhythm the last one is short also so we have first the eighth note and the two sixteenths and then the last one is that's for the A play the lick and the rhythm together Again. Now we come to the D7 lick. We start on the B string and the 10th fret and slide in to the A. A sharp to A. Then we go to the D on the E string. The first thing is just going down. And then we have the C on the B string and the 13th fret. Going back to the slide. And then we have the G, the F, and the D. And as a chord, we go to our 10th fret. First the chord. We have the D here, first finger, the C and on the D string and the, and the same uh, fret, number 10, and number 11 on the G string, we find the F sharp, the F sharp is the third of the chord, this one is the seventh, and this is the root, and we have the B, that's the thirteenth of the chord, and the E, that's the ninth. And we do the same trick with the plecking. This one is easier because we can go over all the six strings, damping them with a plectrum and keep the hand going. I will show it later. For 
the E7, we start on the B string and the 11th fret on the A sharp, sliding into the B and the 12th. Then going to the next string, the E and the 12th fret, the pinky is just falling down. And then we have the D again, second finger, 10th fret, and we do the slide again on the B string, going to the A, then pinky, place the G on the G string, 12th fret, and the E. Going to the D7 lick, already explained it, and then the A7 lick again, and then the rhythm. Now I'm going to explain what I'm doing with my right hand with the plectrum. It's a downstroke for the A7 lick. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. The rhythm in the right hand is a little bit tricky. We go on the A string. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. And the last one is short again. Boom. And we can also damp the ringing A note here with uh, our hand here if we want to. Okay, the D7 lick, we go down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Changing always with the black ring, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then comes the rhythm. Boom, 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 back, get the boom, back, down. Okay, the last thing that we have to do is the lick on E7, then the lick on D7, then the lick on A7, going back to the rhythm. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down. like it leave a comment don't forget to subscribe share it with your friends too